Welcome back to the Fab Forms. On this episode, I'm gonna try to get some floors in the Bibster. Got out of the shop this week, was gonna try to get these floors taken care of, but you know, you got your kids in the shop, you need to kind of hang out with them. Do shop stuff with your kids. So me and Kanan, we worked on uh, putting together some Zeus fasteners, just kind of riveting little springs together. I'm using a lot of these in the Bibster. So something needs to be done anyway. Beautiful day today, so I figured I'd get out here and try to do some work. Started off, got some help from Canaan, and uh, we put together some uh, Zeus fasteners. So there's gonna be a lot of those going on the bibster. Try to go ahead and start knocking those things out. So if you're not familiar with a Zeus fastener, basically all it is is a tab on one side. You got a spring on the other side and it has these little well depending on the kit you have it has these little uh well it's not really a screw some of them are countersunk some of them are button head some are flat head this one in here actually all the ones i use on the bibster are all allen head so just has this little groove in there that's where the spring goes just like that so you can have a piece of sheet metal with a tab. So the idea is that these will be attached to the tubes on the bibster. All the sheet metal will be on the outside. Take this little fastener, quarter turn, locks it in. It's got a really nice finished look to it. And she's not going to go anywhere. My plans are to actually try to get some work done in this video. Last video ended up being quite a bit of talking, which, I mean, you gotta have those too, but this video, I wanna actually do some work. And uh, if you're not familiar with what I'm doing here, I'm getting ready to get everything ready, put floors in the Bibster. Got a couple of tubes I gotta finish up and they're still not tacked in. So I won't be putting these tabs in until those are done, but trying to come up with a little system to make sure that when I lay these tabs in here that they are on plane with each other so when you put the floors in there everything kind of just sits nice and flush and flat in there um, so I took some of those strips I had cut them down a little bit I just got them clamped on the top of these tubes and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off some at least for the floors I'm gonna use this aluminum square tube I've got I'll probably cut off like two inch sections and I'll take the tabs that I'm gonna weld to the frame and I'll clamp those to this and that so it'll all be clamped together this is basically just a spacer so if this is uh, I think it's an inch so this is gonna be one inch spaced off the top of these tubes that's where the that's where the actual rail itself will weld on I'll just clamp them together, make sure it's clamped to the tube. That'll kind of line up that whole thing throughout these, these pieces. I can tack them in and then just kind of move these things however I need to move them. The idea is to do the exact same thing on the sides too. So I'll kind of clamp these to the sides. But on the sides themselves, I don't want to space it that far in. Like the bottom, I've got that one inch spacing, you know, where that thing is going to sit way down in here. On the sides, I don't want it to sit way in. I want it to be out here on the edge. And so what I'll probably do is I may just use like another piece of this to space it. So I'll clamp, you know, like the one I'm going to weld to here. 
with a little piece of this in between that and this piece here. So it just sets in just enough, kind of make up the thickness of the sheet metal, and that way this tunnel kind of looks like one continuous piece with the bars themselves being the, the rolled part. All right, so I guess you, you got the idea, right? Let's get to work. Let's kind of put this in motion and see, see what we can make out of it. I think I got all the bars fit pretty close the way I want them to. Everything's cleaned. Just getting ready to come in here and kind of tack these up a little bit so they don't move around on me. Uh, I'll start with these ones. Put a couple tacks on those and then what I'll do is I'll make sure that these are all perfectly lined up and may even take a ratchet strap and kind of pull this outside tube to that outside tube and kind of sandwich them all together. Some of them are pretty tight but some of them are still just a little bit loose. So I'll just pull all those gaps in, tack everything up, and uh, we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Once I got everything welded, then it was time to start putting that shelf in there that I'd kind of talked about for the floor to sit on. So basically I just take some uh, three quarter by eighth inch bar stock. And the idea was that I was gonna take some plates, put these on top of the tubes. Just have them sitting on top of the tubes. It's gonna cut me some spacers. These were gonna go under those plates. And then the actual shelf itself would then be sandwiched and be kind of clamped together and then welded to the tube and this would kind of give me 
a way of setting the height of that shelf all the way around so it's perfectly flat. That way when the aluminum goes in there, it's all gonna fit right, it's all gonna be the right height. Everything's gonna match as far as where it's welded to the tubing. The little system of using blocks worked awesome. I'll definitely be using this in the rest of the spots where the panels are gonna go on the floor. Now for the trans tunnel, I'm not gonna be able to use this because I don't wanna inset those panels that much. I want those panels to sit right out on the edge of those tubes so it kinda looks like one continuous piece. So what I'll probably do is I'll use the same kind of system but instead of using a block, I'll probably just cut off some eighth inch pieces of this, use that as the spacer, that'll kinda act as the sheet metal once those spacers come out, the sheet metal will go in there and it'll sit nice and flush with the tube. As bad as I wanted to, I didn't get to any sheet metal today. Those, those borders just took way longer than I thought they would. It was very time consuming. Next episode. Next episode, we're gonna cut some aluminum, probably get some bead rolling done. We're gonna sit some panels in there. And we're gonna see how glorious this thing's gonna look. 
how awesome. We're gonna see how awesome this thing's gonna look. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you. But before you leave, I wanna talk about something. So a lot of times when I have these little talks with you guys, they're usually spawned based on some comments that I've been getting on the channel. I get a lot of comments from you guys about a lot of the little tiny details in this build. And that what I wanna say is, what I wanna say is, don't, don't overthink things in life in general. Don't overthink everything. Just start doing work, put something in motion, and then kind of figure it out as you go. That's not to say that I didn't really plan this build out. I mean, I put as much planning in this build as I possibly could, but I didn't overthink it so much that I never got started. I never did it. I think a lot of people tend to overthink things so much that they n never do anything. It, it hinders them from even starting or even working on doing something. Right, they get, they get so caught up in the littlest details that they never actually put the plan into work, put the plan into effect. I think there's a saying that says, just get the boat moving and then kind of steer it as it goes. I mean, the hardest part is getting it moving, getting it going, moving that big old ship, getting it going. Once you got it going, it's easy to turn it. So as you start a project like this, don't have all the details figured out. As you kind of get into that project, then you can kind of turn that ship to go where it needs to go. I mean, there's a lot of things that have changed on this project since I've started. I knew that I wouldn't have all the answers. I knew that things would change. Knowing that, I was okay with it. I just knew that I would figure it out as I kind of went. I just got that ship going, and then along the way, I just kind of turn it to direct it where it needs to go. So guys, don't overthink things. Don't, all, don't worry about all the little details that may affect you because it's not gonna matter. When you get there, you may not even be using that detail or doing that thing anyway. You might have changed the ship already. Things change. So don't worry about it. Just get moving. Just do work. All right guys, that's all I got for you. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.